Hello and welcome to our channel, Tech Expert Tutorials. As we've mentioned before, Google Cloud Vision is a powerful tool that allows developers to easily integrate vision detection features into their applications. Azure and AWS have their own image detection services, each with different strengths and weaknesses. We already covered these in previous videos. See our playlist on OCR text extraction for more details. In the last three videos in this series, we taught you how to detect text, detect objects, and detect landmarks in an image stored locally using Google Cloud Vision API. Check the description below for a link to those videos. Today, we will teach you how to detect faces and images using this API. Here is the image we will be using in this video for facial detection. Facial detection can be used for controlling access and security, health, attendance, and customer experience, for example. We'll need to set up a Python Conda environment for our notebook. If you are unfamiliar with using Conda and Jupyter Notebooks, see our video on Python, Conda, and Jupyter Notebooks to get started. Link in the description below. These are the commands to set up the environment with the necessary packages, including the Google Cloud SDK and the Python Imaging Library, PIL. This command will add the new environment to the list of kernels that you can use within notebooks. Once you set this up, select the new environment from the Select Kernel button. The first cell imports the Python packages or libraries we will be using, including a local package we created named Pillow Library Faces. This is what that library contains. This is used for drawing borders and labeling each face on the original image. Next, we set up the location for our API key credentials file. See our first GCP video on how to create and save this API key, Google Vision API for OCR text extraction, link in the description below. Then we select the file we will be using for this example. Next, we create a new Google Vision API image annotator client to access the GCP cloud service. We open a file and read the contents into the content variable. Then we create a new Cloud Vision image class from the Google Cloud SDK. Now we pass in the image to the client using the face detection function and get a response back from Google Cloud Vision service. Next, we extract the annotations from the response. The annotations contain some metadata about the images, such as the location of each face found and some emotional likelihood. This is trying to label the facial expression for each face. Here we compile a tuple variable containing the likelihood scale for emotional expressions on a face. We open the original image, then we add the borders, a label, and a confidence score for each face. The confidence score is between 0 and 1, the higher score meaning we are more confident in our analysis result. In this case, that what we detected was a face. We open the image and show the results. Most of these are smiling, so the joy emotion has a higher score, except Taylor Swift. She's not showing any emotion, and the results show this. All likelihoods are labeled as very unlikely. Also notice Will Smith is only smiling a little, and his likelihood result is likely, which is lower than very likely. And finally, we include an error handler to help debug any issues with this code. In this case, there are no errors. So the output of the facial detection model shows good results for detecting a face and in emotional images. There are many use cases for detecting emotion, like sentiment analysis, such as performing market research or customer experience. Does an individual look happy with a product or salesperson? Okay, that's all we have for today. Thank you for watching our video. See you next time.